Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the speed up tricks on the Motorola Razr 60 Ultra. Alright, so let's begin. Mm, let's open up our settings first. And once we are here, we need to open up the developer settings because that's the uh, first thing I want to show you. Uh, to get access into the developer settings, we need to scroll down into the bottom, click on about phone, then click on device identifiers and here we have the build number mm, currently I have my uh, developer options enabled uh, so it won't appear right now on the screen but you just need to uh, tap on the build number uh, a few times until you see right in here that you have uh, become a developer once uh, it's done go back now click on system and click on uh, the developer settings all right and now in here we need to scroll down a little bit because we need to change a few options uh, so let's begin uh, with uh, the first three of them all right uh, and in here we have the window animation scale transition animation scale and the animator duration scale uh, defaultly all of those options uh, will be set on 1x uh, but to improve the performance and the speed of your device uh, make sure that they are uh, selected on 0.5 or on off anything uh, but uh, it must be below 1x uh, don't go higher uh, because uh, it won't boost your uh, speed and the performance of your device uh, so simply select um, uh, on off or 0.5 it's completely up to you uh, and now we can also scroll a little bit and in here under the apps as you can see uh, we have uh, the background process limit mm, and in here defaultly it will also be set uh, on a standard limit uh, but to boost uh, the performance uh, and the speed of your device we can select them on uh, zero on uh, three at most three processes or at most four uh, all right and now we can uh, exit the developer settings uh, there's no uh, things that we need to do uh, and now uh, i'm gonna tell you something about the apps uh, basic uh, basic stuff but uh, simply if you have some apps that you're not currently using uh, or you're using them uh, not often uh, you simply use them rarely you can simply uninstall them because thanks to that you can get some free space uh, and your phone uh, will and might work better so simply mm, hold on the icon of your app now click on app info in here you can uh, uninstall it uh, but also you can also uh, enable the storage uh, that option storage and cache uh, and uh, for now it's not available because uh, I did it uh, before you can click on clear cache it will also help with the performance uh, of your device um, Alright, also in the settings, uh, click on the system updates uh, and click on check for updates. It is always good to have the latest version of your uh, software uh, and thanks to that your phone will, might work faster. If you have a possibility to download the update, uh, simply uh, do it and follow the instruction on the screen. You can also enable the smart updates. Uh, so the, the, the updates will be automatically downloaded and installed um, when we are connected to the Wi-Fi. Uh, all right, um, so that when it comes to the uh, system updates. Uh, and now we can also open up the storage. And once we are here, we can click on free up space. Uh, in here, uh, you can also again uh, delete the things that you are not currently using. Uh, you can also see the categories. Mm, so the videos uh, have 43 mega megabytes, and the apps uh, above almost uh, almost 18, oh, 17 gigabytes. In here, you can uh, see them, and if you uh, have that possibility, simply uninstall those apps that you are not currently using, or you don't need. Mm, also, uh, we can click on uh, right in here uh, and in here we have the trash mm, and everything what's in the trash uh, we can simply uh, we can simply delete. Boom. And that's how we get also some free space. Uh, all right. Uh, of course, uh, you can also uh, download some uh, apps from the uh, Play Store apps such as cleaner and they will also help 
with uh, keeping your device uh, in a good uh, condition. Mm. And the last thing I'm going to show is uh, simply uh, a simply reboot, because uh, during the reboot you close uh, the uh, background processes uh, that are still running on your device, mm, and you also uh, free up some RAM. So basically, when you restart the phone, the phone rests. We can say it in that way. Uh, and it's, uh, of course, good for the performance of your device. Uh, to uh, perform a reboot, we need to open up the power menu. Uh, to do it, we need to uh, tap the power button and the volume up button. Alright, just like that. Uh, and now all you need to do is to simply uh, tap on a restart. Then your uh, screen will go black. Uh, the device will be turned, uh, turned off. And within a few seconds, it will be automatically turned on and back again and ready to use. Uh, this uh, form of restart is uh, recommended when we have uh, access uh, to the device and when the phone is responsive. Uh, but also we can perform a force restart and to do it, we need to hold the power button and the volume up button until the screen goes black. So let's simply hold both of the buttons. All right, as you can see, the screen went black. When the Motorola logo uh, appears, we can release our fingers. And now all we need to do is to simply wait uh, until our phone will be turned on uh, once more. All right, that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.